Hey man, we're not seeing any Toke geckos in this village you sent us to, man. Um, any ideas? All oh, right, yeah, it's a full moon tonight. Uh, maybe they're not, uh, not as many as they usually is. There's a graveyard not too far away. I can send you the location if you want. Is it okay to be walking around in a graveyard in Indonesia at night? Join me, Mike Clarkson, on Zilla's new series, Beyond the Glass, as we study the wild relatives of our captive bred pets in order to better understand how to care for them. Let's go Beyond the Glass. We're in Bogor, West Java, in a rural village looking for toke geckos. Believe it or not, this is probably the easiest place to find them. They don't mind the human disturbance, which is why they're often called cosmopolitan geckos. So we're gonna explore these alleys and see what we can find. So it's definitely not our target. But there's the bat. Bats are really misunderstood. A lot of people think they're gonna fly and attack you. He's not gonna attack me, but he is a vector for a lot of diseases, so I'm certainly not gonna pet him. Never pet a bat. There's a good sized house gecko. It's important to note that it's really humid here and we keep seeing them on the walls where there's moss. The moss is growing on the wall because there's moisture seeping through that cement. So when you're keeping them, you should make sure that they have lots of moisture. They stay nice and humid because that's what they seek out in the wild. So we've been finding lots of house geckos, but no toe case. And sometimes you need to call a friend for help. Hey man, we're not seeing any toke geckos in this village you sent us to, man. Um, any ideas? All oh, right, yeah, it's a full moon tonight. Uh, maybe they're not, uh, not as many as they usually is. There's a graveyard not too far away. I can send you the location if you want. Is it okay to be walking around in a graveyard in Indonesia at night? Should be fine. Yeah, make some phone calls. Graveyard. To be honest, I've never herped a graveyard, but we're gonna give it a go, being very respectful to both the geckos and the dead. I just saw something move. You hear that? I've got a good sized toke gecko here. Not the biggest I've ever seen, but definitely an adult. Now while finding tokes around a city and in alleys and in graveyards is fun, it doesn't really give us a good accurate idea of what their wild habitat is. So I'm gonna have to go to the field and find one there. Dude, 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 get over here and keep your light low. I don't want it to spook. Oh, there we go. Ah. Well, that's exactly what I did want to happen. I think I can get him. Oh. 
Okay, so the Tokei Gecko. See that kind of motion he's doing? It means he's not happy. The other indicator that he's not happy is his mouth is open. Tokes are talkative. It's one of their defense mechanisms. These are obviously the perfect conditions for Tokei Gecko. So I'm gonna take some readings of this Tokei Gecko's habitat so we can recreate it back home. Obviously our UVB, our UVA, our lumens, our PAR, all those lighting factors won't be important tonight because this is a nocturnal species. We found tokay geckos just about everywhere because these little guys are durable and adaptable, which makes them really well suited for captivity. <laughs> you like me? I really can't take you home. Devin, run! <laughs>